Hello everyone, uh, I am taking my first drive in beta 9.2. This is 12.25.15. Um, based on what I've seen so far, there are a few minor improvements to this release. Ooh, I just scraped bottom. Need to fix that. <laughs> but uh, we are gonna do a whole bunch of testing today. I had planned to already do testing with 9.1. This is gonna be my normal route from my house to my parents. And then I'm gonna edit this first video, knock it out real quick, upload it, and then go do a whole bunch more testing. Um, so first, notice maps. Uh, maps obviously are separate, but the speed limit is still set to 25 when it's really 45 on this road. Let's see, GPS bug is improved so far. If you've watched my previous videos, a lot of times my little cursor here would be like way off the road, which would cause, cause the car to freak out. Um, so we're gonna see what it does coming up to the entrance, see if it turns on the blinker this time. Okay, that's good. So it's still doing this, which is what I want to see. It passed, went up to 50 mile an hour, and it's still slowing down for this turn right here. I, I'm gonna call that an improvement because I, every single time, this is the first time it's ever not road the right side of the road there's a big drop off there so if it gets too close to the right side you're screwed um this is still a problem oh that was my fault i was holding the wheel too tightly um okay i have to press the accelerator a little bit there so it would actually get over that was a disengagement. Um, it seems to want a double lane change when I get on the highway. And that's that's our first disengagement. I, I have to count that because uh, it, it got way too close to the car right there um, for comfort. I just, I don't get why. It just It's not aggressive at all like, getting over on, on to the highway, at least for me in my area. I think we have short on-ramps maybe and it doesn't help that you're going uphill so that could be why okay i don't know if you noticed it break really hard there <laughs> it braked after it had passed the car that was on the side of the road i've noticed that a lot in previously so this is supposed to be the production build and navigate on autopilot so this should be the same that everyone else has if you have full self-driving without the beta and so I've noticed that it has a lot of weird delayed reactions I'm like car you're already past the car on the side of the road why are you just now braking for it and so I don't quite understand why that happens um, but I've seen that quite a lot over the years of testing autopilot stuff just figuring out how it changes and I don't know if that read the sign or used GPS to slow down before I think it was GPS coded but uh, that slowed down really good. Okay, so this is an edge case here. It should get over legally in the state of North Carolina. I have to get over. And so I'm gonna make it get over. Put a snapshot there. That's an intervention, but not a disengagement. So I'm gonna get back over. Legally, we have to get over for a police car, uh, if we're able to, of course. If, there, if there's a car in the way, of course you need to get it, like give room and slow down, but um, you're legally supposed to get over. Okay, I'm gonna lane change here. I am starting to suspect I have a different version of Navigate and Autopilot build. Um, it just, it normally would have asked the lane change being that much slower than the set speed, but it didn't. I have it set to mild, I believe, on the lane changing aggressiveness, but it still, even at mild, I would have expected that the lane change. And, and, and there aren't any cars behind me, so that, that was good, that was perfect, it's just what it should do. Okay, come on. Um, I I jiggled the wheel too much, and so that's why it disengaged. Um, but that's of course my fault. 
but um, yeah, and so one thing I noticed I want to mention is that blue car up right before I passed that truck uh, got over and then my car immediately sped up. That never happened before, at least for me. It's uh, much more confident in that the car is leaving my lane and then is ready to speed up. Before, I would wait until it's completely out of my lane and wait a couple seconds, then start speeding up. This time, it started speeding up as soon as the car was leaving the lane, which is an improvement for sure. Okay, so this, here's the test I do every time getting off this highway. This is a short exit ramp. It's turned the blinker on earlier. It's starting to slow down better. Should get out right there. So it's a little bit improved for sure. This truck was really close to me, holy crap. Because of that issue, the car needs to get over immediately so the cars behind me, the traffic behind me, can just keep on proceeding and not have to slow down. But uh, otherwise, that seemed to be an improvement, at least from my eyes. It did do it sooner, just not soon enough for my liking. There is a car beside of me. It's... Okay, I'm speeding up. Because it had, it wanted to get on the highway and it was right, right in beside of me. So it slowed down behind me. So what I'm going to do is cancel this. I don't want to go this navigation route. Um, but I want to see if it's going to try and turn right here. It would get into this turn lane. Nope. Okay, so that is a failure. But I'm also going to cancel navigation and redo it here. I'm still having to adjust speed limits so it slows down to a proper speed limit. So once I'm past the turn, this is the correct turn right here that it should go in. The turn lane over there is a right only turn lane and it does that every time. It's a, it's a rattling, rattling issue. It can't read the map correctly. So I'm gonna re-navigate us. And That's really good. Okay, so I think what it did, I'll have to review the video, so you tell me in the comments if you thought this happened. I saw the brake lights on the car, cars, before it saw the red light up here. Which means it started braking for the brake lights on the cars and not the stoplight. So that's an improvement. That's what a human would do if you, st you would just start slowing down. And so yeah, that's, I think, that's an improvement. We'll have to see if that happens again, but that's pretty hard to pay attention to. So it needs to stop here. It says no turn on red. It's trying to make a wide left here. No, 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 no. Okay, that's a disengagement. Um, it has done that previously. Okay, is this guy... I'm having to press accelerator to give it a little bit more confidence because it looked like that's good. It looked like that guy was just going to keep on walking into the street and not pay attention. But so you got car has to know, know to wait or proceed on those type of events. It should be getting over in the left lane right here. This is the type of area where left right lane courtesy doesn't really matter. That was really good. It started slowing immediately as soon as the light changed. That's exactly what I want to see. Something I've noticed with this version so far is that it seems a little bit more hesitant starting at lights again. Okay, well, it really shouldn't change lanes right there, but I'll accept it. Just because you're kind of in the middle of an intersection, I, it's not the best spot to change lanes. From, from experience, because I've done it. <laughs> oh, look at there, there's another Tesla, is that? Nope, I don't recognize them. Okay, it needs to turn on the lane, what, light. Now turn left onto okay, well I'm gonna let it stay in this lane, see how it does, I've never actually done, that was, that was a dis, <sighs> that's sad. 
Um, that was, I've never done that lane, but it's never done that. It swung out into the right lane. So this intersection is having troubles. Um, so what I need to do though is um, stop real quick right here on the right and I will proceed back uh, afterwards. This, I'm gonna press the camera button. Obviously it didn't fail, but it needs to stop going into the middle lane there. This is our last turn. We'll see if it has the same issue it did in the last two builds. So turn on the blinker now. There you go. See, it, it almost did it. It almost did it. The way it couldn't find the turn lane. I'm pretty sure this turn lane, yeah, this turn lane is well marked. It has a full turn signal there. I'm not sure what's happening on that. But um, that's the end of this drive, everyone. Uh, this is the first drive. Uh, to get my thoughts, definitely some improvements. Uh, definitely some things that still need to be improved. Obviously that turn, um, that main intersection, it needs to get in the left turn lane. And then it also needs to not swing out right or do some weird stuff going on right there. Uh, that the intersection has always been very really difficult because there are no lane lines. Um, so that's what makes it difficult. If they painted it, it would probably do it perfectly. But um, that right there, good first impressions. Uh, even though we had some disengagements, it's just um, could be better still. This turn is no improved um, really. But uh, I'm gonna slow us down he all the way here. And um, hope to see you guys in the next video. If I'm about to go out and do a bunch more testing. Uh, so if you want to see that, go ahead and give me a subscribe down below. And I'm glad to see you on the next video and in the comment section. Thanks guys, bye.